Ever wonder how the most successful leaders rise to the top? Well, it's not just about what you know, but who you know, right? And in today's video, I'm going to unveil the secret sauce that separates thriving entrepreneurs from all the rest by mastering the art of networking. So stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have the keys to build powerful connections and super tar, uh, supercharge your business growth. Hey, my entrepreneurial family out there. How are you champions? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle and Heartbeat. I am your host, Isai Rodriguez, and this is where I share actionable tips to help you move your business forward by one inch each and every single day. So if you're ready to turn your business dreams into a visual masterpiece, then hit that subscribe button, grab your creative hat, and let's get started. <laughs> and by the way, I'm putting together a, a free training for anyone who's interested in seeing these exact steps in action. So if that's you, then follow the link in my bio and you'll be one of the first to have access to this uh, experience once it's available. And in the meantime, let's jump right into the golden nuggets for this episode. Uh, so what are we talking about? So I, I have, a, I have a, uh, a story to share with you today. It's, um, it's a story that takes me back to... Uh, the early days of my entrepreneurial journey. So I don't know if you can imagine me as a, a passionate go-getter armed with, you know, a dream to make, you know, make it big in business, right? That was me. <laughs> you know, I was hungry. I wanted to succeed in business just as much as I wanted to breathe oxygen, right? But despite all of that passion, the, the progress that I was able to make was a lot slower than I had hoped. Why? Well, I was missing a crucial piece of the puzzle. Networking. Yeah, I know. It, it, it sounds simplistic, you know, but mastering the art of building connections was my stomp was one of my stumbling buzz one of many you know but let's go with that for now i was like you know i was like a lone ranger in the in the business world right and, and no matter how hard i worked no matter how hard i tried something was missing right and and it wasn't until i hit uh i hit that proverbial roadblock i felt like i was trying to solve a, 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 a jigsaw puzzle with, with a few missing pieces, you know? And, and that's when I realized the importance of networking, right? That aha moment changed everything right there for me, you know? And today I'm here to share how understanding the power of networking transformed my business and most importantly, how it can do the same for you. Right. So let's unlock the secrets of networking success together. Eh? <laughs> All right. So what exactly is networking in the business world? Well, you could think of it like this, right? It, it's not just about exchanging business cards or attending events. Yeah, that's a part of it. That, that's what I always envisioned. That, like, that's what I always pictured it to be. But that was beyond incorrect. You know what I mean? Like that's one small portion of the overall concept of networking, right? Considering the exchange of business cards at an event as like, you know, walking up to a woman on the street for us men, right? Single men, by the way, uh, and complimenting her on her smile, something like that, you know, and then asking her for her name, right? And then for whatever reason, for whatever, uh, you know, assuming that she's, um, uh, you know, that you actually, she actually gives you your na her name, taking that scenario and, and assuming that just because she gave you her name that, you know, <laughs> you're all of a sudden, you're saying, okay, I th she loves me, right? Because she gave me her name. You feel me? Like, that's not what it's all about. First, like, it's about 
building relationships. It's about making connections. It's about creating a web of support that can elevate your business, right? At one point, I found myself at a local business meetup, uh, you know, feeling a little bit out of place. <laughs> I struck up a conversation with someone who, uh, as it turns out, had a, a wealth of experience in, in my in the industry that I was in. And, you know, we chatted, exchanged ideas, and, you know, long story short, uh, that connection became a game changer for my business at the time, right? Networking is like planting seeds. That's what we're talking about here, you know? You water them with genuine conversations. You nurture them with shared experiences, right? And, and then you watch as they, as they grow into valuable connections. And the important thing to remember is this. It's not just about what you can get out of it, right? It's about what you can give and share with others in your business community, right? So whether you're you know, a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, remember this. Networking is the secret sauce, right? That's, it, it's what can turn uh, a small business into a thriving community. Does that make sense? So now... Your, your business, think of your business as a tree. And each connection that you make with someone is, is a branch reaching out into the world, right? These connections, you know, they're, they're not just links on LinkedIn or, you know, Facebook or whatever. They're lifelines that can elevate your business to new heights, period. You know, so let me share another story that, that helps you... Um, picture the, 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 this immense power, right? There's once a, a budding entrepreneur, <clears throat> me, uh, who through, through networking connecting, uh, connected with a seasoned mentor. This mentor not only shared, uh, you know, valuable insights, but also opened doors to collaborations and partnerships that transformed the business, Right. You see, the, the power of building connections is like turning on a light in a dark room. You know, all of a sudden, you, you see possibilities that you never knew existed. And that's the thing, right? Successful businesses are often built on a foundation of strong connections. So whether it's finding a mentor, uh, a business partner, or, you know, loyal customers, as they say, uh, the, the relationships that you make can become the backbone of your success story, right? So now let's shift our focus a little to what I like to call the networking mindset, right? So picture your mindset as the the compass that's guiding you through the, the huge landscape of connections, right? To make it through this landscape successfully, what you need is a mindset rooted in authenticity, generosity, and, you know, like a a commitment to long-term relationships. I want you to consider this analogy. Imagine uh, you're at a farmer's market, right? And you're, you're not just there to sell your produce, right? You're genuinely, you like, you're there and you genuinely care about the well-being of the other vendors that are there at the market, right? You're, you, uh, you share tips, right? You offer a helping hand. You, you, uh, uh, you build a community. This mindset of like, you know, giving and authenticity is like planting seeds that over time grow into a flourishing garden of opportunities, right? So in the world of networking, it's not just about what you can get, right? It's about what you can give. Generosity is the secret sauce that makes connections meaningful and lasting, right? So as we make our way through uh, the art (laughs) of networking, make it a point to, to grow a mindset that, that not only attracts opportunities, but also nurtures them for the long haul, right? Because it, we're in this, this is a marathon, it's not a sprint, we're in it for the long haul, right? Now imagine you're attending a huge dinner party with 
influential people like guests and whatnot, the mayor or some CEO, uh, Jeff Bezos, whatever, you know, uh, whoever that you find influential, right? How do you, how, like how you conduct yourself in a setting like this, it matters, right? Well, <laughs> in the world of, uh, of networking, is it's this is no different, right? It's essential to understand and practice proper etiquette so that you leave a lasting positive impression, right? So consider this scenario. You meet someone who could who could be a, a valuable connection at a business event, right? You're you're schmoozing, uh, you know, you carry on small talk, and you meet someone. Um, that you're like, you know, you, 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 again, you strike up that conversation and you're like, you're feeling like, all right, I, I, this guy or girl, you know, uh, I feel you have that sense that they can be a valuable connection for you, right? You exchange ideas, share stories, you know, you establish a connection. Now, what happens next is crucial. It's like sending a thank you note after that super influential uh, influential dinner party we were just imagining, right? A note where you express gratitude. Because here's the thing. Gratitude and follow-up, are the con- these are the cornerstones of networking etiquette. It's like the finishing touch to a beautiful painting, right? Seriously, seriously. Networking etiquette, uh, it adds that extra layer of finesse, to your connections, right? Now, with that said, don't go ov- overboard, you know, with, with the gratitude and, and all that. Remember, keep things authentic. You know, people can see that stuff coming from a mile away, right? So keep it authentic and don't go overboard. Think of your uh, of your business as a, as a thriving garden, right? Networking is it would be like the water that helps your garden grow and flourish, right? And so effective networking isn't just about making the connections. It's about nurturing them to, to, to create opportunities for, for you to grow, for your business to grow, right? It's about, um, you know, so imagine actually uh, that you've planted some seeds of connections, right? With time and care, they'll end up growing into flourishing partnerships, right? It's not just about what you know, uh, but also about who you know and how you nurture those relationships, right? It's like tending to your garden and making sure that each connection has the potential to blossom into a, you know something extra- uh, extraordinary, right? So one of the things I've learned from, from my mentor and I, and I continue to, to, to pass on to everyone that I mentor is the, the power of strategic follow-ups. So this is what I mean. Um, so after, after planning, like you plant those seeds, like, so after you plant those initial seeds of connections, it, it's, again, it's crucial to water them consistently, right? <laughs> I treat each connection like a delicate plant in need of care, right? So just like you wouldn't neglect your garden at home, um, if you're, you know, if you have a garden, uh, I don't let, I personally don't let valuable connections fade away. And and now trust me, um, I have allowed more than one connection fade away in my day, like in the past. But now, you know, after an initial meeting and interaction, like I've grown, you know what I mean? Uh, so, now I make it a priority to send uh, a thoughtful follow-up. And, uh, you know, it, it might be expressing gratitude for the conversation, uh, sharing a relevant resource if that, you know, if, it, uh, if it's, re- again, relevant. Um, or or suggesting, uh, suggesting, like, future collaborations or, or whatnot, right? Uh, this strategic follow-up, that it's it's uh, it's aching to giving the uh, the right nutrients to your garden. So it's it's the uh, equivalent to feeding your you know uh, plants or flowers. That what is it the the Miracle Grow plant food right? So anyway, uh, like 
that ensures that each connection is nurtured and remains vibrant and alive, right? By, by taking this approach, I've seen simple conversations blossom into long lasting collaborations and, and mutually beneficial partnerships, right? And that's what that's the essence of business right there is the mutually beneficial partnerships. That's what causes your business to grow, right? It's a it's it's small but it's highly impactful uh, practice that that can uh, make a signific- uh, significant difference in the growth of your uh, your business garden. Am I right? So remember this: your your business is like a garden again, and networking is the magic water that helps it bloom. It's not just you know about the number of connections you make, right? It's not a numbers game to an extent. You know, it's about the care and the attention that you invest in nurturing them. So it's not the number, it's it's the um, it's the relationship that you have with that number, right? You can have, you know, t- a handful of people that you're connected with, but if those handful of people are, are um, you know, very influential and you have a very good connection with them, you know what I mean? That can, that like that handful of people can and most likely will, um, you know, help your business grow, right? And just like a, a garden, each connection has the potential to grow into something beautiful, right? So I encourage you to water your connections consistently with, again, with authenticity, with gratitude, and a genuine desi- uh, desire to see them flourish, right? And, and like any good story, your networking journey doesn't end here, right? It's, it's an ongoing narrative <laughs> of growth and collaboration. So keep planting those seeds, keep tending your, uh, to your connections, and watch your business garden become a thriving landscape of opportunities because success in networking isn't about, you know, being the loudest voice in the room, right? It's about being the most attentive listener, being the most, uh, you know, being a cultivator. So go ahead, step into the world of net, you know, with a networking mindset and let the magic unfold in your entrepreneurial garden. And so there you have it, my homepreneurs. That's a wrap for today. So if you found a spark, just a spark of inspiration in today's video, hit the like, share this with your fellow hustlers, and let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more exciting tips like this for for navigating the world of entrepreneurship. And follow the link in my description to discover the exact steps to quit your job without quitting your life. Until the next time, stay financially empowered, stay inspired, let the legacy of your wealth building journey unfold. And as always, I want you to stay legendary, my friends. So with that said, I'll catch you on the next video. Take care now. Bye.